five questions that no Muslim can answer. If you want to accept my challenge, if you can answer my five questions, boom, I will convert from Christianity. But if you can't answer my five questions, boom, you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and have everlasting life and joy in heaven, all that cool stuff. All right, so we're going to start with number one. It comes from John 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Who is this referring to? Muslims and Islam believe that Paul perverted um, the Bible, but Paul did not write the Gospel of John. And this is also John 1, verse 14. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, and the glory is the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So it says, the Word became flesh, became human, and lived and dwelt among us. And remember, the Word was God, the only begotten of the Father. So who is this? Muhammad doesn't claim to be the Son of God. Jesus is the only one claiming not to be a prophet, but to be God himself and the Son of God. So that is number one. Number two, y'all believe that the Bible and the Torah have both been perverted by Jews and Christians. But where in the Quran does it say the Bible has been changed, perverted, corrupted in any way? The Quran calls it a holy book. The Quran also calls the Torah and the Bible, I mean, Christians and Jews, holy people. So in the Quran, we need a verse that says the Bible has been changed. Number two. So number three, um, this comes from Matthew 17, not written by Paul. And we're continuing on. Matthew 17, verse five. While he yet spake, Behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. This is also in Mark 9 and Luke 35. Three times in the gospel, God calls Jesus his only begotten Son. This is my question. Where in the Bible or the Torah, holy books written for in your Quran, does it say anything of Muhammad? Every major prophet is in the Bible, in the Old and New Testament, in the Torah. Where is there any mention of Muhammad or anything else? Number four, it comes from John 14 and 6. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me, but by the Son. And also it comes from John 6 and 44, no man could come to me except the Father hath sent me, draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It says that you have no access to God and no access to the Father except through the Son. Now, Muhammad's not the Son, and you claim that Christians are wrong about Jesus being the Son. Who is the Son? Because if there's no way to get to the Father but by him, it must be another Son. So who is this? Because y'all believe that, in short, the prophecy is closed. Everything has been fulfilled by the Quran. So who are you waiting on that is the son? All right. And now the last one, number five um, question. Why is Christianity in the Bible banned in 51 countries, right? So you don't have any type of persecution or imprisonment or death when it comes to these countries and Islam. You're free to be Muslim or whatever, right? But when it comes to Jews being killed, Christian being killed in Islamic countries and Islamic nations, why are you killing people for a lie? If it's false, if it's not true, why does it matter that we're going on living, right? Because I believe that People telling the truth don't kill liars, but liars are always trying to silence people telling the truth. So those are my five questions that you need to answer. But um, a good book that has um, been written is Seeking Allah, Finding Jesus. It's in the description box below. How a Muslim searched the Quran in Islam and found Jesus to be the one true Lord and Savior, providing everlasting life. So this is my prayer. 
um, that this video will open the eyes of anybody who is unfamiliar with Islam and is um, not Muslim, but also Muslims, that you will know that, hey, if you want everlasting life, if you want salvation, if you want joy, if you want to not be afraid of hell and death and jinn and all that stuff, just accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And it says, any person that calls on the name of the Lord, being Jesus, they shall be saved. So if you're worried about your salvation, just accept Jesus and you will. And also I understand that, hey, um, accepting um, Jesus does come with the punishment of death. But it says in the scriptures, don't fear man that's able to kill the body, but fear God that is able to destroy the body and send the soul to hell. If you want everlasting life, like, hey, your spirit will live on in Christ. You don't have to be afraid what people will do. And so um, this is my prayer in the name of Jesus. Everyone under my sound and my voice will be liberated from the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus Christ and have the spirit of boldness, Lord. You said that you will strengthen them by the power of your might, by your spirit in the inward man to know the love of God. Open their blinded eyes in their um deaf in ears by your word that has been preached in this video. I read strictly from your Bible, which is the inspired word of God. We thank you where the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. Loose them from every unclean spirit now and cast it into the pit. And we thank you that the spirit of Islam and Muslims and Babylonian system has no rule over them, but they have life and life eternal in Christ Jesus by his name, that if you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you are saved. Thank you. It's been 10 minutes. And so if you want to check out my next video, I have 28 um, reasons why Islam is false. Um, click in the description box below or on screen. And also, I am covering everything that Mormons will not tell you. And so if you want to join our Bible study, there is a description box below and a link in our bio and just click on screen for everything important that is free.